the reality is that uh, cross-platform development has some uh, great advantages mm -hmm. um, and can be really helpful for the right type of application. Mm -hmm. But it also they also come with a lot of drawbacks and they're never going to be on the latest APIs. Um, they're always going to struggle in to, to build deep experiences. Mm -hmm. And they can also be quite challenging when you're working with large teams. If I was starting an app from scratch these days, um, I would definitely look at the viability of something like React Native or potentially Xamarin. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think if for the type of apps that I'm involved in building, uh, we would typically reach for the native tool set on, on, on both platforms because they give us the, 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 the greatest depth uh, yes. to be able to work with. You're going more for the depth rather than covering all the platforms and what have you. Yeah, it's, it, they allow us to build the best user experiences. There are certain user experiences that you can deliver um, much more quickly and cheaply using cross-platform yes. uh, development toolkits. Which is obviously a big benefit of cross-functional, yeah. but you do have the drawbacks of not creating, would you say, as good experience or...? I think it's certain types of user experience. Yeah. So for instance, if you're delivering content, textual content images um, that look something like a web page, there's certainly, you know, there's certainly an argument to say that you know, if that app is predominantly that type of content and it's very similar across both iOS and Android, that, that you, know, you should look at a, a cross-platform toolkit. Mm -hmm. It also heavily depends upon the type of skills that are available to the development team. You know, if you have a large web team in-house, uh, people who have deep experience in JavaScript, for example, or you're a .NET house and you've got people who can uh, build things using .NET or Java, I think then, then you would definitely look at the specific cross-platform toolkit, which mm -hmm. best suited your existing set of skills within your development team.